start on over here. Of course, I put it out. Is this is this something else or is this just a modded Ubuntu? That's kind of part of the question. So let's go ahead and start by having a look at the main website. So you can get to this at hexagon.pyrosoftware.com. For you guys watching the live stream, I'll go ahead and uh, link that if I can, of course, paste a link. There it is. All right, so you can have a look at the website over here. Um, what I see, we have two language options at the top of the site. We have very little information. So one of the things that we definitely need is a little bit more information. So of course we have our home page here. Um, it's just a single scrolling page. So it scrolls down, here's features. It has a modern design, um, updates. It is based on Ubuntu 1804 LTS. I think it's 1804. Um, there's, I could find no other information. So I installed the system, ran the updates, then went in and had a look at the um, software sources and it's pulling from Ubuntu. Uh, free and open source and for everyone, whether a student or employee, it'll have what you need. Um, so what is inside? Uh, so we basically get, it is basically a kind of more of a modified Zubuntu. It's XFCE Ubuntu. It is themed very nice. We'll have a look at it in a few minutes here. So they have, uh, they have some of their own applications. The Hexagon Center, they have the U backup. I didn't play with that. They have the AutoDoc, a tool to solve problems with XFCE and Plank. And they have about Hexagon, so not a lot there. I did find the Hexagon Center, which is used to do um, software installs, a little bit limited. I'll explain why. I did not experiment with the U backup, uh, but that's definitely something that is needed. Especially if that backup can back up to a network drive, that would be totally awesome. That's one of the things that the current uh, backup utilities don't easily do. Some screenshots. That's what the things look like. Again, modern uh, modern theming. If uh, Quint jumps on here, he'll love uh, love this because it's uh, material design. All right. Um, so we have Alberto is the uh, primary developer, and there's a few other guys that they are they're wanting some uh, some promotional stuff from. You can go ahead and grab the download. I have no idea how long the download took. It downloaded before I was done. And it is a 1.1 gigabyte file. So it is a very good download size. And a lot of it is, it has the strength and it's a very minimal distro. And then you just install what you want off of it. Uh, you can grab information. I even found that on the, on the social media, there's not a lot of information over there. So that's the first thing out of the gate is there is virtually no documentation or explanation. You don't need a lot in all fairness, but a little bit more information would probably be a little bit preferable. So let's go ahead and uh, boot into the operating system now and see what uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so there we are. Now we're full screened. So we have a basic modded material design XFCE with a plank. That's basically what we have. We have our notifications up here. We have our clock, um, network information, volume, and our menu looks kind of like a speaker, um, but it is a hexagon. So. Um, this is where our menu is. Now, you notice out of the box, there is very few information. Now, um, I put, uh, I, I booted up Hexagon Center and installed one of the packs. So there is, uh, that gave me some multimedia. So that installs Audacity LMMS. So if you're into music design, that's a cool thing. Um, I think Mix was installed. Most of the things in here, I think VLC was pre-installed, uh, Simple Screen Recorder and Pulse Audio, I think were the only things that were installed. So this kind of leads to, um, this to me kind of leads to one of the, the, the major issue I think with the Hexagon Center right now. So the idea is you come in here and we enter our password and then you just basically pick a package group and it will download everything in the package group rather than choosing the individual software. So the good news is that we do have a minimal install. The bad news is if I want to come over here and go Office and I only want LibreOffice because I have no need for VirtualBox, GNU Cache, uh, FileZilla, more especially GNOME software, you know, all these types of things. Um, I don't have the option that I can see here to pick just LibreOffice. Now we do have Synaptic Package Manager, so you know I can always just install stuff directly through there. So not a huge deal. If I just need LibreOffice, no big deal. Um, but anyway, uh, we do have. Uh, you can click the info here, and it will give you the information. Um, oops, I clicked the button incorrectly. There we go. Um, 
and then here, GIMP, Inkscape, Caden Live, Blender, Libre, CAD. So if you want the applications in that set, you just click the button and it's going to start the download and installing it. So it's going to install the applications. So it's, it's downloading and installing five applications and I can't do much else until this is done. So let's gonna go into the next part while that's doing its thing. My cat's going insane in the background. My apologies if you can hear the cat. Hey cat, chill. Jeez, that cat's going crazy. All right, uh, as far as the theming, um, it's not my my forte, but it is very nice. I mean, the, the icon packs are very nice. The UI, everything is integrated. It is a beautifully done system. The only weird thing is we have our close and our minimize on the one side, and we have our maximize on the other side. A little on the creepy end for me, um, but eh, I don't know. I, I would, I would kind of like to see all of those on one side. Whether you pick the right side or the left side, that doesn't really matter to me. Um, but at the same token, so that's still going. Um, a little bit more status on this would be good as well. You can see that everything is still grayed out. That kind of means that I, I can't keep going. All right, but the theming is very nice. Not my forte, but it is very good. Um, I do like it. Uh, it is a minimal design. It is based, like we said, it is based on uh, on Ubuntu. So we'll just have a look at the um, software uh, sources right now. Just to show you that. So you can see we have, uh, we basically have the canonical plus their own package. I couldn't find any other information about what is on this. It is based on Ubuntu 18.04. Um, presumably it just has the four applications he talked about, the center, um, the about, which basically just gives the information of the off, um, software. Um, we have uh, the U backup, which is this application here. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything with that until those packages are done installing, but, uh, and there was a fourth, what was that fourth application? I can't remember. All right, so over here, we have everything else that comes with the strength of Ubuntu. Uh, so, you know, we have our driver tool utility there, and we have, we can, you know, go for uh, pre-release updates as well. This case here, it's giving us um, drivers for the VirtualBox we're in. That's okay. VirtualBox seems to be working for me, so that's all right. All right, so let's have a look at what the backup utility does. This is one of the applications that is custom to this distro. Okay, so it just creates a backup of your user inside of your home folder. Okay, that's neat. Let's go look for that. All right, so here it is. Hopefully we have an archive manager, which we do. So you'll see what it did here is it did seem to take a backup of everything in the home folder. So we have our, uh, including all of our, um, uh, including all of our hidden files and configuration files. So what this is useful for, uh, a very useful tool on this case is in Linux, if you are new to Linux, the, one of the powers of it is getting all of your software. So uh, like if, if I go in on my Windows development computer, I have Dreamweaver over there because you know, I've had that computer for a good decade and I have my Dreamweaver configured in the way I like it. Well, if the system were to crash, I still have the installation disks. It would take me a while to reinstall the Windows 7. It would take me a while to get all the updates in. And then I would have to go in there and install the Adobe products and then do all the Adobe stuff. But then I have to mess with everything to get all the settings and configurations where I want. In Linux, the user's configurations on applications are actually stored inside the home folder. So in this case, in Mozilla, uh, things like this. Um, uh, Mozilla would be the uh, Firefox preferences, browser information. If you make any other modifications on other things, such as Kden Live, um, any custom transitions I do on Kden Live are going to be stored in here. So the power in Linux is if you can get a copy of this user folder backup as a zip, like they're doing here then you get your new installation of your distro, you install the software applications you want, and then you dump this home folder there and the entire computer is exactly where it was. That is what's so great about it. So this backup utility tool is pretty cool. You would have to manually send it to a, um, uh, to a separate uh, location. So run it, 
copy it and move it to a separate location, but that actually is a very good tool. I like that. Uh, everything else in here should just be everything related to our um, uh, XFCE. So there's nothing in here, if you're familiar with XFCE, nothing in here that is going to be unfamiliar to you. And that's basically what we have. Um, it's a very good start on a distro. I'd say it's a neat starting project to uh, get something up and running. It does look very nice. Um, it is, uh, let's see if there's other desktop backgrounds uh, we ch to choose from or not. Um, I don't use XFCE enough to know where all this is. There we are. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we just have some some basic backgrounds in here in addition to the default default hexagon one. So I'm not sure why the thumbnail for that is rotated sideways, but that's the default one. Let's go back to that. <clears throat> And everything else is there. So I gotta say that um, the best looking XFCE I've probably ever seen is Manjaro. This is right up there with it. This is a very beautiful UI. Um, so is it much more than Ubuntu? Um, I don't really see it uh, much more than XFCE. Um, I wouldn't see a reason to run this over um, running Zubuntu. Um, other than the theming is, is very nice. We do have the hexagon center, uh, despite its limitations. The backup utility is very nice. Now, Ubuntu has its own backup utility, uh, which is not in this. Um, and it's a little bit harder to use. This one is definitely the easiest one to use. So those are kind of my, uh, my initial thoughts on the distro. Uh, let me know um, in the comments there what you guys think of this.